This is TJ Desange with Team Body Warrior. And today I'm about to drop that Body Warrior knowledge. So listen in. It's about to get deep. All right, so welcome back. So today I'm going to go a little bit further on what I was talking about on my previous video in terms of who are you or who am I? Who is the I? Now, no matter what I tell you, and I know this is going to sound crazy, I actually don't want you to believe me because this is something you must experience for yourself. When you realize what truth is or consciousness or God, a higher power, when you have this understanding of the truth, it will change your life. All the suffering, all the ups, the downs, all of it, it all makes sense. So today, I want to talk about some of these things. And I know many of you are suffering. It could be for many different reasons. And I get it, because I've been there. I've, I've had anxiety, I've had depression, I've had issues with addiction. So I've, I've had my fair share of lows in my life. But I've been on this journey for the past eight and a half, almost nine years now to discover who I am and what this whole thing we call life is all about. And I'm here to tell you it's just really a game. And again, I know this may sound crazy, and that's okay. But I just really want you guys to have an open mind about what it is that I'm trying to get across to you. I'm going to try to use words deliberately to hopefully open up your mind so you can discover who you are. But even opening up your mind isn't going to be enough because once again, it's an experience that you have to discover for yourself. Words aren't enough to describe what I'm about to say. But again, little by little, I will try to use examples to hopefully help everyone understand this concept. So going back to the I, who am I? Well, we are truth. We are one. We are consciousness. We are God. At the same time, we can be the devil. And ego is a big part of this. Ego feeds this character that we have all developed. Like my character is this is the way I look. My name is TJ Desange, or I go by Joda Desange. And this is the character or the image that I am portraying. But that isn't exactly who I am. And again, I know it sounds insane, but when we go back to the voice that we hear in our head all the time, which sounds like it's our voice, but who is doing the listening on the other, other end? Who is listening? Who is it? Now, when you go through this experience and you could, I, I typically find that individuals who have gone through this experience typically happens when you really try to dive deep into uh, meditation or you know maybe something drastic occurs in your life and you just have you, you just, it just kind of hits you like oh my gosh I get it and those of you who are suffering just understand we are in a game and I want you to visualize a virtual reality game or a video game especially nowadays and I'm not really into those at all by any means so but obviously I'm well aware that they exist but I want you to visualize our life as a video game now when you realize we are life it's not that we're living life we are life we are just characters in this game we call life but we are life we play these different roles and 
and we create this image of who we are, where we're from, all that stuff, what we look like. But all of this can be changed, especially for individuals who are suffering quite a bit. Maybe you have a lot of anxiety, maybe you have depression. Just know that that is your mind playing tricks on you or essentially telling you that this game you're in or this movie that is playing in front of you is going to give you these different sensations, but they're actually not real. Because when you come to this understanding through this experience and you understand that we are just energy and everything around you is simply energy on different frequencies, it will make sense to you. But going back to what I said earlier, don't believe anything I'm saying. You have to experience this for yourself. But when this does occur, and I hope it does occur for many of you, life becomes very easy. Now, don't get me wrong. You still have to pay your bills. You still have to, you know, play your role in life. But when you come to this understanding, you start realizing very fast that, oh my gosh, this suffering is required because it's about polarities. There is no good without evil. There's no positive without the negative, right? There's love. There's hate. It's all polarity. Positives, negatives. So when you realize that your mind is constantly playing tricks on you, and it is always manipulating you, it's not manipulating anyone, actually. Because when you go through the experience, you realize we are consciousness. We are all one. We are simply developing these characters throughout this lifetime. And you could change your character. So when you have these thoughts of maybe anger and you go through this experience, you're going to realize, oh man, this is just an experience my avatar or my body is and my mind is creating which is an illusion in this game that's actually not real. And this is very powerful because when you realize this, you could adjust however you want to feel. You could direct your own movie, essentially, which we call life. And to go even further, you could attract whatever it is that you want in life. As long as you have the understanding that you must be must be willing to give certain things of yourself to receive that. So I know a common thing is, oh, well, I want money. Okay. Well, on that path to making money, there's going to be some suffering involved, maybe long hours um, towards a you know, particular project or a company that you're developing. And then during that suffering, you may feel anger or anxiety about the future. Or you may have um, you know, team members who just aren't on the same page. And that's okay, because if you have this experience that I'm talking about, you will understand that that is just a temporary feeling that your character is taking on. And the mind is responsible for all of this. But that's not really you. That's not who you are. Your body, or this avatar that I am in right now, is exactly that. It's a tool. It is simply using the body as a tool, and it is using the mind as a tool to operate in this third dimension that we live in, which we call life. But again, we are life. We're not living life. We are life. I kind of want to end it right there because I just want to plant these seeds as I continue to make 
more videos similar to this because I really want individuals to understand this concept because this is the key to unlocking the mind because when you understand who you are you will realize very fast that this is just a movie that is being played out and it is your experience in this lifetime that you are creating as the creator as the one as consciousness